Thank you, Norris. My name is Martin Suparanoyeksum. I am adopted from Indonesia and in Uppsala, Sweden. I will read uh, a message that I have received from uh, the wind of inspiration. Long existing countries will you forever stand? Preachers all over the world Show us your dreams tonight. Prophets through all times, wake up and sing your song. Peacemakers, you will dance when the morning rises. Kings and great nations, think of where you came from. Hope will always rise. Rise in times of darkness. Hungry guns and weapons, you don't have a future. See that holy sun shine in every heart. Spring is always here, just around the corner. Winds are whispering secrets in the sunlight. And I feel this hunger, hunger for your blessing. And I close my eyes and I touch the sky. So take this dream to your heart, make it live. Now you may be sad in your heart. May the light shine upon you. May that river of healing flow into this world. And may grace fill every heart. World of wonder is here. Right in your heart. Let it shine through. And make the world alive. Life is greater than life. Love is greater than love. A man asked life, what is the meaning of you? And life replied, the meaning with death is to search for me. And when you have found me, death has lost its meaning. Many thanks to Lawrence and World Peace Award for this invitation. And now, Bosse Styrsson, my friend, will play uh, Deus Hill. And this is a song named Blot and Dog. It has been chosen by the Swedish people to the most popular song. Thank you all. Stayed in Swedish, but this is the old harmonium, very old style. Thank you. 
appreciation for your participating here at the conference. They do this for free just to entertain you, so this is an extra warm up for you. As we mentioned here, art is also a way to communicate something deep inside, and I hope you felt that this is very classical. Swedish songs uh, perform. So, thank you. So, I think we are into the next session now. I think so. We're going to have the awards now. Special address from Ben Wood, Dr. Subhan. Subita. Subita. Ben Subita. Please come. Bring a message. representatives of Swedish government, European Union, the United Nations Center, Your Excellencies, Mahathira, Beku, and Beku Salka, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am very honored and privileged to be here with you today and to deliver this special speech. Particularly at the, his important milestones of the Stockholm World Peace International Conference. First of all, I would like to express my happy thanks to Prama Mondin Tassi, the above of the what Odarama Tanga Sweden. He is a very big deserved. The President of the Stockholm World Peace Award Committee, General Secretary, Dr. Pierre Lerna, and the Chairman of the World Peace Conference Organizing Committee. Eminent partners and supporters, including the International Association of Buddhist Community and International Peace Organization, for putting great efforts to make this peace conference happen. And inviting me as a representative of Buddhist society in Myanmar, the Arabs and colleges, it is very time to hold the task War Peace and International Conference here in Stockholm. During this phase of the crisis, since I received the Stockholm War Peace Pride Award in 2018, almost no one graduated from Nepal, India, Afghanistan, and the United States has received the award for their heroic effort for building peace in their country. I want us to honor this today. They are Honorary Agnet Daga, former Ministers of Peace and Reconciliation, Government of the Nepal, SCAM, Mohammed Sami Zaki, President, Peace Education and Art, 
by President Kawamiso of the Minister. Three, Professor Kanga Abe, a lot chairman of Convention Foundation, Buddhist Monument Development Council in India. Four, Mrs. Grace Mastone Hyden, founder of President Women with a Vision International in African Pride EFC USC. I have participated in all three conferences successfully, and I'm happy to inform you that I have agreed to host next next 2023 or 24 or 25 organize the Stockholm World Peace Conference. The venues of the conference can be in the Netherlands or Spain or New York or any the city the place. Please advise us where is the ship? What is the ship yet and what we can focus? Dear colleagues, the COVID years has brought up big challenges and many problems globally. With the war in Ukraine and also the citizens who are caught between the Western, liberal and Russia, China, traditionalists. The crisis caused not just a mystery in Europe, but all over the world in terms of the economic <coughs> shock. Pushes the many countries into the tremendous failure in deep poverty. Therefore, we must ask to destroy the war. We have to assess diversity. All at the same time, we need to appreciate the sovereignty of the country, its people, tradition, culture, and belief, so that we can coexist peacefully together. Dear colleagues and friends, I want us to bring kind ideas to my latest country, Myanmar, which has recently experienced COVID-19 and the political uprising, leading to the crisis in the near future due to the global shock. The country has been peacefully living together among 135 ethnic nationalities as well as between four major religious followers of Buddhism, followers of the president, followers of the Islam and followers of the Hindu nation. All those Buddhist population account for nearly the 90 percentage. We tend to the respect and celebrate all religion. And then, Myanmar is the only country in the world which displays official holiday for poor religions. As a Christmas, Eid, Diwali are all official holiday in the country. However, the social fabric that bind our Myanmar society was a summary tone during the last 18 months of the confrontation between political attitude and the military force. Everybody knew about this. Since the military took power in the February 2021, and the subsequent attacks against both this order by the so-called People Defense Force, and the any military coalition in the international community with forced accusation, and the Buddhist mark set with the military regime. In our country, Buddhism must always choose for the peace justice and democracy. Since the past involvement in anti-colonial movement against the British rule in early 20th century, under the previous military government in Myanmar, in August of 2007, as you know, the separate revolution moved the top of the led by the Buddhist man, at the peak of authoritarian repression. Yet in the undeniable press about the rules of the Buddhist monk in support of the human rights and democracy. When the military government introduced peace building and national reconciliation process in 2011, a Buddhist monk supported us to bring in the interface the dialogue and forum to strengthen the peace process. We also tried to offer the reconciliation between different religious communities during the 10th years of the communist confrontation in 2017. However, we are now constantly attacked by the educates, a sign and international supporter. As we go for the peace and reconciliation in Myanmar, meanwhile, 
he go for total victory over the military government by winning barely the violent war against not just the military unit but also the armed and innocent civilian. This is instantly must be destroyed. Please let me be a successful statement that should alarm all peace loving people around the world. According to the IAPB survey, in Myanmar, many innocent peoples are detained and killed during the recent conflict, including the former president, Wendy, and former state councillor on San Suu Kyi, and other the innocent civilians. <clears throat> Among them, before the my interest, 54 Buddhist monks have been killed and thousands or hundreds of their followers and houses are targeted in Bali. You can see like this. Our design is in the area. Bomi, Bali, shooting every day. Very dangerous. Therefore, I want us to make a special request from the Stockholm War Peace Conference today. There's all the political force, including the Myanmar army, inside the National Unity Government, people to face force and ethnic organizations to stop the war and the violence in order to the prevent the life of the innocent people from being destroyed. I made a similar request to stop the wars and the violence in Myanmar to the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Antonio Guterres, by addressing it at ease to his intervention during the recent visit to the United Nations headquarters in New York City in July 2022. I also earned my message to radio such as Washington Beach, Radio Free Asia, and Voice of the America interview during the recent visit to the United States in July. However, my biggest fear is that my message of the administrators of the violin may not be heeded by the warning party while holding more peace in the advocate. In the countries are the being a choice of the supporters and becoming the details of the target team. I will need a your help to convey the message of the peace. Dear colleagues, as we are all aware, the war student is busy with various critical challenges, such as the conflicts over the Taiwan and Ukraine. Causes that target almost everywhere, we need to find out the cause of the conflicts and the matters of the priority, so that we will see the right solutions to the conflicts. In other words, it is an urgent need for us to find ways to prevent the future conflicts too. We must start with the humbleness, uh, recognizing that we are all same human beings. No matter what part of the law we come from, we all are basically the same human being. We all see the happiness and try to avoid the suffering. We have the same basis of human need and concern. All of us as human beings want peace, justice, freedom, and the right. To determine our own destiny as an individual and as a people. That is a human nature. Dear friends and colleagues, Confess is an element of organization as for institutional life may occur within the same individual. Between the individual, between the individual and the group, and between the group, in order to build peace, one should strive for the inner peace, so that you can build peace with our others in the group. If there is no peace within the individual, then there cannot be peace in the world. Violent and peace never can coexist. The only way to achieve war peace, to build inner peace, is a real call. Our Lord contributed this, and it was really eradicated by its opposite, which is pure love, tolerance, forgiveness, and sorrow. 
And it must be, it cannot be, cannot be eradicated by eradicators. Violent is the never cease by violent, naive with it, not without need. Hatred is the never cease by hatred. Truth you want, love only. It can be seen. This is the eternal law. This is the Dharma. Let contribute for the world peace, everybody. In the face of the violence in this world, we shall praise peace. In the seas of the hatred, we shall be with love. In the days of the darkness, we shall stay the cruise. In the conscience of the oppression, we shall not trust freedom. In the heat of the despair, we shall keep hope. In the peace of the cruelty, we shall preach compassion. In the times of the discretion, we shall bind our babies together for mutual prosperity. I am truly believe this, this Stockholm World Peace Conference 2022 will be a fitted resolution to promote universal values in our own society, to lead the good world for the generation to come. With our collective effort and dedication, we will be able to contribute more effectively and efficiently for the human happiness and mental peace. I am pleased for all of us, oppressors and the prince, that together we succeed in building a better world through the human understanding and love. For all of us are uh, becoming one to walk the path of the peace together. Let's sing peace and harmony together under the guidance of Lord Buddha's teaching. Well, I will come on, thank you everybody. Please, uh, peace and harmony, peace.
委员会主席，啊，尊敬的世界和平会议委员会主席，尊敬的 WPSY 秘书长阿努努大大长老，还有各国长老、各国贵宾大德，大家好。The most venerable Dr. Pramaha Putin Dasri Tiru, the abbot of Budaram Temple, Sweden, respected president of the organizing committee of the World Peace Award, respected chairman of the committee of World Peace Conference, the secretary general of World Buddhist Sangha Youth, the most venerable Mugunu Vera Anunda Tiru, greetings and Venerable Mahakero, the elders from a uh, many monastery, all distinguished guests from all over the world. 我来自台湾，今天参加啊这个世界和